quick one today on installing the catch can kit that Billy provides. This is an install on a BAM engine, uh, and this is very similar to uh, what you'll have to do on other cars, but this one is just the BAM. So let's crack on. So we're gonna to need to remove the air filter to get that out of the way so that we can uh, take the waterfall cover off. Uh, we're gonna to need to take the strut brace off to be able to get that off as well. And then we're gonna be opening this up to relocate the relay from here to inside here. And then the catch can will be able to live in that space under there. And we'll be mounting it with these P-clips that he provides. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got some hose and some clamps and some bits and pieces. Uh, but so that's where we're gonna start is with making some room for it to live. So then we'll take the relay out of here and it can live just here. So this one. So we've got that relay there. So we simply take the relay out, pull that away from there, and then we can unclip. there and then we just need to cut this rubber bit off and well, that can live there like that with the relay on so once that's in there just make sure the wires are out of the way and then we can okay so there are two ways that you can add a catch can into the system you can either add it in in line with the rest of the PCV that's already there or you can uh, delete uh, all the bits under the intake manifold at the same time and um, the kit comes with the stuff to be able to do that so you can eliminate uh, leaks and things like that so I'll do another video on the merit of the PCV and the PRV system uh, combined uh, and you know deleting versus keeping and fixing and all that stuff but if you're at the point where you've decided that you're getting rid this is what we're going to do um, so we're going to be getting rid of this pipe here and these pipes under here this venturi system under there all these pipes now because we're getting rid uh the way that these connect on here we're just going to be moving it so this one connects straight onto the nipple at the end of the manifold but essentially everything else that's there it's just going to get ripped out cut out um you know just get it out any way you can it doesn't really matter because you're not keeping any of it um so that's why it's quite easy to install this way because uh, you haven't got to remove a whole lot to be able to just get in there cut the bits and pull them out so to give us a bit of access we're going to take this cover off the danger of taking this cover off as always is that the dipstick tube may not survive so it's good to have a spare one um, but yeah, we need access to get down to uh, where this piece lives, uh, the main engine block breather. So we need to be able to get to that. Oh, got the EGT sensor to get out of the way. Obviously, if your fixings there will come undone, take that off first, but 99 times out of 100, they won't. And we've got to just carefully wiggle this. Oh, dipstick has actually come off with it, so that's good. There we go. So then from there, we can see that's where that main breather pipe goes. 
So we've got a clip that we're going to pull out. There's an O-ring that lives inside there as well. So now we can start undoing things like these clips, which I find just a pair of side cutters. Just in there like that. Just opens them up enough that they'll come off. So there we go, that one's off there. So the rest of this, this bit here, this bit here, which connects just there. That one there, all the way, that one there. That bit there, that bit there, let me see, that bit there, that's all coming out. So the first piece is to be removed, look at those massive cracks, so yeah, that's a vacuum leak, because that's part of the, the, the servo assist. There you go. Look at those massive cracks. Now we're going to get this clip off from down here. And that one there. Let's remove that wire and plug it out of the way. So keep hold of that, and then we need to be pulling this pipe up. Oh. I'm going to need two hands of this, but yeah, that will pull out now. So that will have been leaking under boost, safe to say. And you can see inside there how perished it gets and even the hard plastic tube you can see how bad that gets and then that's the one that Billy sends a replacement for because that's usually what happens when you take it off so now we've got to get the remains of that off without bits of that going inside the sump so I'm going to stuff that full of tissue uh, before I do anything else so that's what was left in there it had to be creatively destroyed and removed obviously you don't want that going inside the sump so what we're going to want to do is remove this pipe leave this one and this one how they are that's fine we're just going to get rid of these a couple of clips because uh, we're going to keep this in the system and we're going to plan out the system so we're going to put the new piece on down there inside there like that and we're gonna have a pipe coming up and round, teeing here, carrying on over to where the catch can's gonna be, and then one coming back to here. And that's basically gonna be it. Nice and easy, straightforward system. And then obviously we've got to cap off. Where is it hiding? Cap off that there that we've a nipple there, and then we've obviously got to put that to there with a the clamp uh, and then that's that's it really job done so what I did was I oiled the o-ring on that piece there fed it through from this way with the pipe already attached because it's a very tight fit onto there I can obviously slide a clamp down and do that up not a problem that gives you an idea as to where we're headed you can start cutting uh, now this pipe while it's cold, very, very stiff. And so you wanna just use the natural curve that it's already got. Uh, but once you put it onto a plastic piece like this, it's not coming off. Yes, you need to clamp it, but just make sure you've got it the right size before you start putting it together, otherwise you'll have a nightmare. The only thing the kit doesn't come with is a new 
Jubilee for here. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything you need. All right. Okay, so we've got that pipe down there. We still need to cap this one off, but yeah, uh, it goes up to there. Got the puck still in place. And then the beauty of these P-clips is that you can just secure it however suits best. We've had to rotate the math slightly for it to fit nicely. But yeah, essentially that is uh, the catch can install. So yeah, good luck.